all right guys welcome back to the channel lj's chop shop uh we got a customer dropped us off a great project we're gonna be doing multiple upgrades to this thing throughout the channel here so you gotta stay tuned uh let's turn around i'll give you a little peek we got the 2024 stingray corvette z51 we're gonna be doing a few few modifications we do a headlight modification jack lift puck we're gonna do a catch can we're gonna smoke out these lights and uh we'll see we'll see what else we can do let's uh let's go inside and see the parts let's take a look at these parts we've got the uh daytime running lights we're gonna turn them from white to yellow or amber we got tools for the suspension to lower and raise we got our hockey pucks to lift the car we got these on Amazon 30 bucks you don't need nothing special they're gonna be underneath the car they work they're gonna get smashed up anyways you got your oil catch can we can't get cheap on that Mishimoto everybody knows that carbon fiber it's gonna be in the engine bay so we got to make it look good where people are gonna be looking and this is the kit for that we got some stickers we're gonna put on the uh, brake lights and reflectors to smoke those out so this is the project not a big one but we're gonna get it going this is gonna take a little bit more time we won't complete that today you got to tear apart the whole front but that will be on the books so uh, let's get going okay we're gonna start with a catch can first um, here's all the parts this is the carbon fiber one um, comes with one little bracket it's gonna mount to the back strut bar we'll show you that we got one hose two hose little hose couple fittings clamps not sure if I like these worm drives on something so nice but we'll see we'll see what we could do to upgrade those if we change them later all right so the technical reason why we do this uh, we got the oily mist coming in the can it's going to circle around it's going to separate we're going to get oil deposits down there and then you're able to vent back clean air out the top back to the engine and if all works well with a good running engine you should be able to drain this every oil change and not have to worry about it overfilling it's probably a good preventative maintenance way too to catch an engine failure um, if this is starting to fill up a little bit more than it should so it's a good thing we're putting it on first thing um, and we can monitor normal and have a record to go off of if something is to fail but that's what that looks like let's get it together So we're working on the back passenger side against this frame rail here, strut tower brace. Uh, we got the bracket set on the high point. Um, and then we're just gonna, we got two existing holes and we're gonna just mount that baby right there. The back ones are already tight. Make sure you tighten those up. I think we're just gonna leave those snug then we're gonna work on the hoses let's get on to these hoses so the hose we're after we're gonna get this hose it runs the top of this intake manifold it goes down over here we just gotta pop these clips off and uh, let's get that going all right so we're trying to get this tube out for the sake of looking like an idiot it's already loose look at that falls right out gm thanks here's a new hose we're gonna run it down here and we're gonna run it along connect it over here to the catch can let's uh let's get that installed we got the uh inlet ran comes all the way down new bracket new bracket clips down there you can see 
the top one's real real easy put it on here put it on the top they clip in real easy take your old clips off take the old clips off of the old tube get out of the way clean that up and uh now we can final tighten everything up in the orientation we want let's do that all right so install is complete um the reason we do this with the direct injected engine when you got oil particles that go back into the intake manifold and they are not being washed out by port injection um the fuel cleaning the valve so this creates a lot of deposits on the top side of that valve which in the long run you'll end up paying a lot to get those valves clean do a walnut blast in you can do all kinds of sorts of stuff but this is just one more step to prolong that and help in preventative maintenance okay this is a great upgrade we recommend it for any direct injected engine all right so that's going to conclude the catch can install and uh we're still waiting for this baby to hit 500 so we can open it up and 1500 so we can do some uh launch control but uh just remember subscribe got many more we're gonna do like i told you guys in the beginning we got many, many more mods so hit that subscribe like comment we're learning with you so Tell me what you think.